Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of From the Top, presented by Armina Stone. My name is Selena Pompiani, and I am super excited to welcome all of these guys on here. They look fantastic. These are the guys representing First Commonwealth Bank, and we're having them on our podcast because we like to bring in the top players in our area and they are the top players in the Pittsburgh community. So great to have all of you on. Hello, guys. Yeah, thank Hello. you. How are you doing? I'm doing great. So I'm going to go down the line and introduce everybody here at the countertop. So we have Mike Price. He is the president and CEO of First Commonwealth Bank. Tom Sullivan, the mortgage executive with First Commonwealth Bank, and Brian Sohockey. I love your last name, by the way, and I remember it because I work in hockey too, and he's the regional president. So great to have all of you here today. Thank you. Thanks yes. So, much. so let's get right into it. I want to talk about First Commonwealth Bank and what makes you stand out compared to all of the other banks in our area here in Pittsburgh. Maybe I'll kick us off. I yeah, mean, we're a kick community us off. bank. We're invested in the community. Uh, we're a top SBA lender. So we help small businesses get over the hump when they need capital to start their businesses. Um, we're really terrific at mortgage, as Tom will talk about. And uh, it's a great place to do business. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot of locations all over the city. So tell me about where we can find you. We have about 56 branches uh, from wow. the North Hills to the South Hills to uh, the East and West side. And we have a flagship office at uh, Union Trust downtown. Mm -hmm. So what makes you, would you say, and really all three of you could answer this one, because I would love to get your perspective from just working there and your experience. What do you think makes you so different when dealing with customers? I hear from a lot of people that you just have a different atmosphere. You have a different vibe, a welcoming vibe. So in your eyes, what would your answers be? I think we're pretty hands-on. I think from Jane Grabentz, our president of the bank, to myself as the CEO, you can get the top executives out to Brian, the regional president, and we care, we get to know your company. And I think for closely held businesses, that matters to them, that they get the intention of the uh, top executives. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Yeah, from my perspective, you know, from the mortgage side of it, it's every customer matters. It's, it's all about delivering and caring uh, about the customer first, finding the product and listening to them to fit their specific needs. Uh, that's what we're about. We're a community bank that cares. We have people that care to try to deliver quality every day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, the culture really starts internally as well. I mean, the, from Mike down through all the executive management, just caring about each individual at the company. Mm -hmm. um, I've never worked anywhere more inclusive you know, that listens to people. And then you see it play out as you go into a branch um, and the people building relationships with individuals. So, you know, over time, they, they know where their kids grew up. They know where their kids go to school, what their families are, and they start to listen. And it makes that transaction, you know, kind of just much more down the basics. Mm -hmm. um, and it makes it fun and people are engaged. Talk to me about the home buying process right now. Is it still a hot topic I mean, break it down for me as best so, as you can. Yeah, so I'll, I'll take that one. So the home buying process uh, with First Commonwealth, uh, the great part about it is we're a full service lender. So we can help uh, customers buy their home, build their home, uh, refinance the, their house, utilize the equity. We have all the products and solutions. Uh, the American Dream is buying a house. We have a first time home buyer program. We have community driven loan you know, opportunities as well, grant programs. And it is a hot topic. We've seen uh, in in this this year's home buying situation, uh, lack of inventory. There's so many people out there looking to buy because interest rates are still so very low that in the spring and the summer, those people weren't able to all buy a house. However, people sold their houses at higher positions and higher prices than expected, which built equity positions mm -hmm. across the footprint. And it's given us 
the ability to help customers potentially refinance now. Mm -hmm. And when you refinance your house, you know, you could turn that house that you thought you were going to sell into your dream home per se, mm -hmm. you know, Armino Stone comes into play because they can, you know, remodel their, their bathroom, their kitchen, you know, add square footage, do those type of things to really, you know, turn that house into the house of their dreams. So that's, that's uh, great that's, advice. Yeah. So that's I like that. That's where I'm at with it. So thank you. Well, it, it really is amazing to me. And I we actually just refinanced our home, but I'm always looking on the apps. I'll be looking on Zillow or just to see what's around, what's available right now, because you never know. And it's amazing some of these prices. I mean, it's shocking what, what they're going for. And it's yep. I mean, you would just never guess in a million years, but Yep, it's, it's a the times it's a we're in. It's a crazy market, and yeah. again, rates are still low. So if they didn't, if you didn't find the house of your dreams, you can make that house your dream. You know, now currently yeah. with the house you have. That's great. Well, tell me more. I mean, if I, I always say to our guests because I'm looking for myself too down the line. If I wanted to, you know, buy a property that was moving ready, that you know everything was totally brand new, remodeled, it was just ready to move in. I mean, how would you be able to help me? I know you said sure. you offer so many great programs. Yeah, so it's, it's you know, the loan officers that we have, we have 25 loan officers within our footprint that, you know, specialize, you know, in helping homeowners, you know, achieve, achieve the, the, the American dream of home ownership. We uh, have a digital delivery system now with our mortgage platform, meaning a customer can uh, literally take their phone from application to close and work through the process. We give you that a punch so cool. Yeah, we give you a punch list. Uh, it's really cool. You know, a punch list, the loan officer keeps you engaged. The system enables you to do things like take a picture of the documents you need and upload it right into the folder of your file. Uh, it really is amazing. And and for the customers out there that aren't comfortable with <laughs> excuse me, a digital delivery, we can still mm -hmm. meet you face to face. We're a community bank. We yeah. have the ability, we have the people to do that. So you know, we give you the best of both worlds. Really. That's what I was going to ask. So many, I mean, and we're on our phones all day. I'm, I'm using it for everything, but I like to see you guys in person. I want to come in and talk to you. Sure. I'm Absolutely. old fashioned in Absolutely. that way. Absolutely. And we're there for you. That's the beautiful <laughs> part about it. Yes. Well, how, how long have all of you been doing what you're doing at First Commonwealth? Yeah, I've, I've been here for 11 years now. Okay. Um, came over to the bank and kind of saw the development and the growth both in Pennsylvania and in Ohio as well. Mm -hmm. um, and it is, it's really transformed into the strong community bank over that period of time. And I, just to add on to Tom's comment and your question, it's as easy as walking into the branch. Um, so whenever you don't know who a mortgage officer is or what the first step is, you know, the, the branches are staffed with a center manager and a group of financial service specialists that can walk you through the mortgage process. They can walk you through the home equity process. If you want to borrow, you have $25,000 on your existing mortgage and the equity you have in it so that you could you know, do a project financing or remodel a kitchen, remodel a bathroom. Um, and it's, it's, it's simple. They can walk you through that process. There's calculators on our website to walk you through what your, at, you know, what your monthly payment would be so you can budget and really start that conversation. So just to add on, I think it's it's as simple as walking in and talking to anybody at the bank. Yeah, I like that. You make it easy for us. That's what we want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> and I've I've been with the bank a little over seven years now as yeah. well. It's it's been in a great growth and development stage for the mortgage team. You know, we're really excited. You know, we should be uh, funding over seven hundred fifty million dollars this year in, in loans. Uh, we've really I uh, love what we do at First Commonwealth Bank and mortgage is a priority because mortgage usually is the biggest transaction of a person's life. You mm -hmm. know, and we take it serious. Mm -hmm. yeah. 14 years. You don't think about this, but banking is fun. Think about it. We get somebody into a home for the first time, into their dream home, or if they're a business owner, start their business or take their business to the next level. Those are great days. Our customers, we're the biggest fans of our customers. We want them to be incredibly successful. Mm -hmm. That's fabulous to hear. Well, uh, dealing with customers every day, I mean, I, you, you guys have such a wonderful community and you really are a great community bank. I'm sure you get feedback all the time from them that, that they just feel like they have such a great relationship with you. And I think that's so important when you're working so closely with somebody, that's what you want. Yeah, we had a great opportunity earlier last year with PPP lending and helping businesses get through COVID. 
And we did um, probably seven to 8,000 and almost $900 million of PPP loans uh, for businesses. And that was really gratifying. Mm -hmm. And to know that we were making a difference. So it's, it's intimate, it's good, we're making a difference, and they appreciate it. That's awesome. Well, what, speaking of COVID, I mean, we're still in the pandemic right now, but from the beginning of it and up until this point, how have things changed for all of you regarding your business and, and how you work every day? We were lucky. We, um, we had really started a journey to build world-class digital capabilities probably seven or eight years ago. And for a bank of our size, that's a bit unusual. So we were very well positioned with everything from digital wallets to mobile apps and things. And we saw the usage of those skyrocket. And not just among young people, but people of all ages. And it just gave them, gave them easy access to the bank. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little fortuitous there. Yeah, with, with the mortgage side of it, uh, a lot of the mortgage team had been working remotely already. Uh, so we didn't really lose uh, a lot of capabilities. Uh, we were very uh, able, we were able to really work through the, the pandemic where appraisals were uh, hard to get done because the appraisers weren't going out there. We were able to do um, AVMs or drive-by appraisals, work through special programs. Even with self-employed borrowers, we utilized our portfolio, which is our money to help uh, the borrowers get into a mortgage where, you know, the agency, the Fannie and Freddie guidelines would have restricted them to do so. We looked at the borrowers person by person, business by business, and we tried to find a solution no mm -hmm. matter what the situation really was. Mm -hmm. Well, I know a lot of you, I think maybe all of you, this is your first time coming into this new showroom in Cranberry, right? Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, have you? It's amazing. <laughs> Wow, what do you all think? I have to say. Blown away. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep my wife out of here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's what my dad says, too. <laughs> it's cool, though. It, it's it really great is. to see this area. And I know you said you're pretty close by, too, in Wexford. Sure am. I mean, to see this whole area north of this city just expand and grow, it's, it's pretty neat to see. It seems like a lot of people want to bring business out here and want to move out here. It's a great school district. Yeah, we just broke ground on a new branch right by the Walnut Grove on 19 just earlier this week. Mm -hmm. And it is, uh, it's an outstanding area with high growth. Absolutely. Oh, that's exciting. Oh, very nice. Well, all of you have been in Pittsburgh for a, lot for a long time. Are you from Pittsburgh? I'm not from Pittsburgh. Where are you I'm, from? I'm from Connecticut. But oh. my, my, my wife is native to the area. So the very typical story, moved, moved back, started a family here. Mm -hmm. And do you love it? I is love it, it home? It is home. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, moved here in 2004. Uh, Steelers won the Super Bowl. It was a very easy transition. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good year. <laughs> How about you both? Uh, well, for me, I born and raised bleed black and gold all the way through and every the way shape or form <laughs> this is my community these are my, my people i love working with people and understanding the people in this in this area i yeah i i love this place mm -hmm. i really do yeah i grew up in johnstown about an hour and a half east of here and uh i live right above north park right now which is just a jewel and a treasure for our community here mm -hmm. well moving forward and, and looking into the future what are some of your goals personally with first commonwealth bank to be the best bank for businesses their owners uh, their employees and their customers you already are but <laughs> you can always strive for more i yeah. love it I, I just want uh, us to be looked at as a, a mortgage company that can continue, a uh, mortgage bank that can continue to grow, to, to show you know, the customer that we care, to show them not only mortgage solutions, but also other solutions within the bank that we can help them to understand the full service capabilities of what we do. Because we do a lot and we help a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with Mike and, and Tom. It's expressing what we do very well and sharing it and having that brand, you know, be, be known throughout the market, you know, kind of voice by voice. Mm -hmm. and, and if you satisfy each customer need, then that continues to gain momentum. Um, but it really is our, my goal going forward is simply to spread that message, continue to build the business network, continue to build the consumer network so that the brand's recognized. Uh, we recently started working with Armina Stone. I mean, it's a 
prototypical perfect example of a small business that started in 2015 and is ramped up to being a leading provider in Western Pennsylvania, stepping into Ohio markets, um, and we're able to work with them not just from a working capital standpoint, but from a treasury management perspective and insurance benefits already. So it shows how many things you can do with someone, um, and it's it's small businesses like that that you know, get us across the entire market. Mm -hmm. I love it. Well, I'm so happy to have all of you in here today. What do you like to do for fun? Would you say singing is a hobby? Does anybody <laughs> like to sing at the table here? That's a hard no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not allowed to sing. <laughs> Mike, how about you? No, you don't want to hear me sing. I can clear this room in a second. Uh, I would love to hear it. Well, we are going to hear it. Oh, boy. Yeah. Yes. Don't worry. It's Nobody will have to do it alone. We're all going to do it together because I stink as well. I have a very bad voice. But we always like to wrap up the show every week with a little singing. And it's simple. It's just our jingle. So it's the Ooh, Armina Stone. I got it. I, yeah. can, I, I heard it. On the should we practice or should we go for it? I think we roll with it. Okay. Let's do it. I'll count us down. All right, everybody. Here we go. In three, two, one. Ooh, Armina Stone. Wow. That was so good. Thank you guys so much. First for Commonwealth Bank, everybody. Check them out.